You are something beautiful, unique, and no one is in your way. Other than that voice in the back of your mind, it gets louder when the room is quiet and when it gets dark, we have no way of distracting ourselves from it. Well, that is going to change today. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and tell me what you see, not what others make of you, feel, or what that little voice cries, but what you see, there is something beyond what the mirror reflects, something dark inside you, eating away from the inside. It's hungry, and it savours nothing more than to feast on the sweet taste of your torment, insecurities and misery. It desires none other than to see you break down mentally and emotionally. So look in the mirror, face it, the darkness, your weakness, your pain, your desire. So this is me as of late, a young 20 something year old girl living a pretty normal life and like most of us, I have my insecurities, worries, and anxieties. Maybe I allow them at times to take control of me, which hasn't always been the case. You see, naturally, I am a competitive person. I'm good at what I do. My artwork I take great pride in, and for income I work a mediocre job, and with that there's little excitement. However, for the past few months, all this negativity has been slowly turning its ugly, malformed head and sometimes, when I lose my concentration, it snaps right back at me. My artwork, along with my dosage of self-help videos, is my therapy. I suffer from what is referred to as body dysmorphic disorder, or BDD, and those those two things say take my mind away from it, or at least as much as possible. My phone told me it was 7.30. That is not a good way to start my day, considering my alarm was set for half six. My shift starts at eight. I have no time to waste on breakfast or contemplating what to wear, so I just pick up whatever clothes I can find scattered around my bed then head to the bathroom quickly to freshen up before I make my way out the front door. After a steady 12 hours, I finish my shift and make my way to catch the train. It's getting dark, and you can tell as the night creatures which hide from the daylight emerge, the dishevelled drunks and the dodgy types with their faces cloaked under their hoods, who trail the dimly lit streets aimlessly losing themselves into the dark of the night. I hold my head down and pull my headphones over to hide myself. Eventually, I make my way to the train station. It is near empty on the platform, however there is this one man standing opposite me on the other platform. I look up subtly and he is staring directly towards me. I can make out his crooked yellow smile and his dark beady eyes. My train home interrupts our standoff and shortly after comes to a halt. I get on the near empty carriage and find the least filthy corner to sit. For one, without someone's fast food dinners spilled or the beer soaked seat. I look out the window to the creeper, who proceeds to gift me with a gentle wave and a demented grin, as my train, thankfully, departs. The short walk home breezes by, of a sense of vulnerability as a young woman walking near lost in the blanket of the night can seem a little daunting, but hey, I'm almost home now. I can see the apartment block take form as I make my way up the hill to my street. The soft orange glow emitting from what of my neighbours are still spending the night in. As I enter my apartment, I feel drained after the long day. I have myself a shower and then after I find myself 
staring at my reflection, forcing my facial muscles to twitch and my lips to tighten as I force myself into a smile. Fuck it, who do I have to impress anyway? So I hit play on my stereo and I crash in bed. The cold comfort of the pillow drains my consciousness. I wake up to a soft humming, almost something like a lullaby, resonating through my apartment. The place feels cold, yet comforting. It's like that sensation of when you are swimming. As I stand, I cannot feel the ground beneath my feet. A warmth like chlorine drenches my eyes. And that humming as I navigate through grows in volume. I hit the lights, but there is no response, not even a flicker. I then realise that humming is coming from the bathroom. The door as I approach is closed, so I gently push the door open. The lullaby is now loud enough for me to be singing it myself. But as the door swings open with a creak, I am met with nothing more than darkness and silence. I'm overcome with both relief and confusion. However, I put it to being tired. I rub my eyes as I stand towards the sink and splash my face with a handful of cold water and look into the mirror, a pale, elderly woman in a long white dress stands where I should see my reflection. I trip backwards, my back falling onto the wall. I gasp, hands trembling, my flesh pricks up as cold jolts of fear shoot through my body, pulling my eyes open. She fixes her gaze into my eyes and speaks softly with a gentle voice. I can make you see the beauty I see within you. For it is not a thing of only the mind. Your beauty is hidden within your soul. And I will show you how to embrace it. I am overcome with both shock and fear to even speak. She continues. Bring to me the flesh of beauty and I will prove my worth and my word to you. A sudden plethora of feelings, pain, Adrenaline and fear overwrite my mind as a blinding light forms in my mind, the sensation of someone scratching deep within my skull, and suddenly I wake up. My vision slowly follows my waking body. I feel wet, dirty, perhaps sweat. The last nightmare I had, it It too left me in a bed of sweat, so I shook it off and got myself out of bed to freshen up. The apartment is still dark, perhaps the early hours of the morning. I make my way to the bathroom, no lullaby, just the numb silence of the night. I enter the bathroom and approach the sink. when the lights inexplicably flicker. Blood. A blend of black dirt and crimson fluids coat my skin. The walls, the ceiling, trails of blood, handprints and scratch marks dress almost every corner. I fall back against the wall of the apartment returns to darkness as I face the mirror. My face has changed. My eyes are bright green, skin clear of blemishes. I look younger and... Beautiful. 
the elderly lady speaks out as she reappears into the mirror. She however is not the same, her face has disfigured, no, it's distorted. She looks me up and down, then she lifts her hand, her blood drenched hand, and inserts several fingers into her sunken, dried lips and sucks them clean. Then she speaks. Bring me more, and I shall make you like a goddess. Beauty has no limits, my child, and nor does our hunger. Hey horror fiends, I hope you enjoyed that terrifying tale. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you would like a part 2, or should you have any requests for another story, be sure to let me know. I am sorry for the delay in material recently, I kind of fucked up my wrist and left myself unable to write anything new, however I, you'll be glad to know I've been working on a short film currently, which I am now hoping to release sometime during October. So if you haven't clicked the notification button or subscribed, you better do it now. Till next time, I bid you sweet nightmares.